In the previous video of adding and subtracting rational algebraic expression, we discussed how to add or subtract them, particularly if their denominators are the same. What if the denominators are different? How do we add or subtract them? Just take around and I will teach you how. But make sure to watch our related videos in my channel, particularly in factoring of polynomials and the different operations of rational algebraic expression because those lessons are necessary as we go through this new lesson. If you are not a subscriber yet, can you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you will be updated every time I will upload new math videos made easy for you. Adding and subtracting rational expression. How to add or subtract fraction or rational algebraic expression? Suppose you're having different denominators like a over b plus c over d or a over b minus c over d. So in dealing with this, we have to recall the concept of least common multiple or LCM. So LCM is the smallest number divisible by the given quantities. What are the steps in finding the LCM? So first, we're going to factor each quantities completely, then write the common quantity as 1, then write the other quantities in a factored form, then multiply them to have the LCM. So let's have example number 1. Find the LCM of 12 and 15. So first, 12, the prime factor of 12 is 2 times 2 times 3. The prime factor of 15 is 3 times 5. So what you're going to do, those common factors, you will align them. Why? Because those common factors will be written as 1. So bring down those factors who don't have common with the other quantities and bring down 2. So these common factors will be written as 1, so times 3, then bring down positive 5. Multiply them, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 3 is 12, 12 times 5 is 60. Therefore, 60 is the LCM of 12 and 15. This is the smallest number divisible by 12 and 15. Example number 2. Find the LCM of 3x cubed y and 6x squared y squared. So again, 3x squared y, factor that out, so 3. Then the prime factors of x cubed, since this is a monomial, so you have to multiply x three times, so x times x times x, then multiply it by y. Secondly, we have to factor also 6x squared y squared. So the prime factor of 6 is 2 times 3. Then x, x, then y, y. So bring down 2. Okay. So 3 and 3 are common to these two quantities. So you write them as 1. x and x are also common. Write them as 1. x and x are also common. Write them as 1. This, no co uh, this uh, x have no common to others, uh, other factors. So you would just bring it down. So y, common, so write them as 1 and bring down y. So multiply everything. So 2 times 3 is 6. Then x times x times x is x cubed. Then y times y is y squared. Now there is a hint in finding the LCM, particularly if the given polynomial is a monomial. If you will be finding with the LCM of the constant, and those constants have no common factor, so you just multiply them to have the LCD. Secondly, if the quantities are monomial, so then the LCM of the variable, like this one, x and y, their LCM is the variable with the highest exponent. So in this case, x cubed, x squared, x cubed is the highest exponent, that is why we take x cubed to be part of the LCM. y and y squared, we take y as part of the LCM. Now let's try this to identify the LCM of this given problem. So find the LCM of the expression of the quantity 4m squared n cubed p plus 7m to the fourth n p squared. 4 and 7 with a constant, they have no common factors. You just multiply them to have the LCM. So 4 times 7, that would be 28. Then m squared and m to the fourth. So as what I have said, the highest exponent will be taken as part of the LCM. So we will take m to the fourth. Then n cubed. It has also n here, so n cubed is the highest exponent, so we'll take n cubed. And finally, p and p are also common, so we will take p to the power of 2 as part of the LCM. 
So therefore, in this given uh, expression, their LCM is 28m to the 4th n cubed p squared. Next, find the LCM of the x squared minus 4 plus 6x plus uh, 12. So in this case, this uh, given expression is no longer a monomial. We have to follow the steps uh, made mention in the previous uh, part of this video in which that we're going to factor its expression completely. So x squared minus 4 is factorable. This is difference of 2 squared. So square root of x squared is x. Then square root of 4 is 2. Then copy the exact terms but change the sign from positive to negative plus 2 minus. Then factor also 6x plus 12. So this is factorable. So 6x and 12 have common monomial factor which is 6. So to have the, to obtain the remaining factor, 6x divided by 6 is x, then 12 divided by 6 is 2. So notice that in this case, we have two common factors, which are x plus 2 and x plus 2 at the other expression. So bring down x, then write them as 1, x plus 2, then write, bring down x minus 2. So therefore, this is now the LCM of these two given expressions. So what if the fraction or rational expression to be added or subtracted have different denominators? For example, 2 over 5 plus 1 over 3. So in this case, we need to find the LCD. In other words, we need to find the LCM of the denominators. So the LCM of denominators, 5 and 3. So since 5 and 3 don't have common factors, so you just multiply them to have the LCD. So as we recall, uh, this common denominator will be divided by this denominator. So 15 divided by 5, that would be 3. Then after which, each quotient will be multiplied to the numerator. So 3 times 2 would be 6. Then plus, then 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Then 5 times 1 would be 5. Then after which, we will add the numerator. So that is 6 plus 5, 11 over 15. Why are we doing this? What is the reason behind that after dividing this, LCD to the denominators, we need to multiply it to the numerators. So actually, the underlying reason here is we are rationalizing the denominator. Because in the previous video, we were taught how are we going to add fraction or rational algebraic expression with the same denominators, in which we we'll just copy the common denominator and add or subtract the numerator. So what we are doing here, we have to find... We need to find the LCD first. Then after which, we will be looking for a constant in which we are going to multiply to 5 such that 5 will be equal to 15. So in this case, we will multiply 3 to 5. As we can see, 3 over 3 is 1. And if this fraction 2 over 5 will be multiplied by 1, the answer is 2 over 5. So in other words, we are not changing the value of this fraction. We are just rationalizing it. We are just trying to find ways in which this denominator will be the same as 15. So that is why after dividing this 15 to 5, and that is 3, we have to multiply it to the numerator. Whatever number that you are going to multiply in the denominator must be the same number you are going to multiply at the numerator. What constant we are going to multiply to 3 such that each product will become 15? So in that case, 15 divided by 3, and that is 5. That is why we have to multiply 5 here. We have to multiply also 5 here. So if you will simplify this uh, fraction, 5 times 3 would be 15, then 3 times 5 is also 15. So as we recall our lesson in the previous uh, video, which is adding fraction with similar denominator, we just copy the denominator. So that is why we just copy 15 here. So what we're going now is we're going to resolve the numerator. So 2 times 3, and that is 6, then plus 1 times 5, that would be 5. So actually, we just get the same answer at the top. But this concept is very important if we are dealing with rational expression. So what are the steps in adding and subtracting rational expressions with different denominators? So first, we're going to find the LCD or LCM of the denominators. Then multiply each denominator by a factor such that the product will be the same as the LCD. Then multiply the same factor at the numerator, again because we are rationalizing the fraction. Simplify the numerator, then just copy the denominator. 
So let's have example number 1. So 3 over 2x plus 2 over 5. So in this case, our denominator is 2x and 5. And 2x and 5 don't have common factor. So first, their, their, GC, uh, their LCD is 2x times 5. So you just multiply 2x and 5. So I would suggest that what you are going to do is you will not... Uh, um, you will not really multiply this 2x to 5. So what you are going to do to make it easier, so you just copy 2x and write them in a factored form, place them in a quantity. So 2x copy, then times in a quantity times 5. Okay, then try to examine the denominator. What is lacking in the denominator to be the same as the LCD 2x plus 5? So in this case, we need to multiply 5 to 2x so that it will be the same as 2x times 5. So we multiply 5 here, you will also multiply 5 at the numerator. So what is lacking to 5 to be the same as 2x times 5? So we need to multiply 2x and 2x. This is 10x, this is 10x, and this is the same as this one. So what your problem now is just resolve the numerator. So just multiply 5 times 3 and that would be 15. Then plus 1 times 2x, that would be 2x. So simplify. 15 plus 2x all over 2x plus 5 or 2x plus 15 all over 10x. Example number 2. x over x plus 1 plus 3 over 2x plus 2. So our denominator is x plus 1 and 2x plus 2. So in this case, we have to factor this out so that we can really find the LCD. So factor x plus 1. So this is already prime. So we just write x plus 1. So 2x plus 2 can be factored by common monomial factoring. Their common monomial is 2. So 2x divided by 2 would be x. Then 2 divided by 2 would be 1. Notice that x plus 1 and x plus 1 are common. We just write them as 1. So we just bring down 2. So now this is our LCD. Now, what is lacking to this expression to be the same as 2 times x plus 1? So it la we lack 2. So we need to multiply 2. So we also need we need to also to multiply 2 at the numerator. We don't need to multiply any constant to, to this expression because they are just the same as the LCD. Or physically, if you want to, you can multiply 1, 1 at the numerator. Okay, so this denominator, the product of this denominator will be the same as the LCD. Just resolve the numerator. So 2 times x would be 2x, then plus 3 times 1 or copy 3. So that is now the answer of this given operation of rational expression. Again, if it can be simplified, you must express this fraction to the lowest term. Rule number 3. 2x all over x squared minus 9 minus 5 all over 4x plus 12. So find the LCD of these denominators. So factor out x squared minus 9 completely. So this is difference of two squares. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 9 is 3. If we write minus here first, so we must copy the same terms, but it has to be plus on the second expression or second quantity. Okay, then 4x plus 12 can be factored by common monomial factor. So the common monomial factor of 4x and 12 is 4. Then 4x divided by 4 would be x. Then 12 divided by 4 would be 3. So as you can see, I'm aligning those factors which are the same. Why? Because we will take them or we will write them as 1. So our LCD now is bring down 4, bring down x minus 3, and write them as 1x plus 3. So that would be our LCD. Now, the x squared minus 9 is the same as x minus 3 times x plus 3 in a factored form. So in our LCD, what is lacking to this factored form of this expression to be the same as their LCD? So again, x minus 3 and x plus 3 is the same as x squared minus 9. So we need only to multiply 4 and 4, both numerator and denominator, so that this expression will be the same as this LCD. So our other denominator for x plus 12, the factored form is 4 times x plus 3. So 4, then x plus 3. So we need to multiply x minus 3 to this expression to be the same as LCD. We have to multiply also in the numerator. So these are the same as the LCD. So we have to resolve now the numerator. So 4 times 2x would be 8x. Then this is minus. So negative 5 times x would be negative 5x. 
then negative 5 times negative 3 would be positive 15. So simplify the numerator. So 8x minus 5x would be 3x, then copy 15. So this is now our answer. Example number 4. x plus 1 all over x squared plus 3x plus 4 plus x over x squared minus 4. The first denominator is x squared plus 3x plus 2. So factor this out. So this is erratic trinomial. So first factor is x and x. These are the factor of x squared. So this is positive 2. So we will be looking for a two numbers that we are going to multiply. The answer is 2. But if you are going to add, the sum is 3. And that would be 1 and 2. Secondly, x squared minus 4. So perfect square, perfect square. This is difference of 2 square. So get the factor this out. Square root of x squared is x. Then square root of 4 is 2. Copy the same terms but change the operation from positive 2 minus. Then bring down x plus 1. Then x plus 2 and x plus 2 are common. Write them as 1. Then bring down x minus 2. So this is now our LC. D. So this expression in a factored form is x plus 1 times x plus 2. So we need x minus 2 to multiply here so that the product of this one will be the same as the LCD. x squared minus 4 in a factored form is x plus 2 times x minus 2. So x plus 2 times x minus 2. So we need to multiply x plus 1 so that this expression will be the same as the LCD. So they are all the same. So... Similar fraction, copy the denominator and add or subtract the numerator. So, x minus 2 and x plus 1 are binomial to binomial. So, by FOIL method, so x times x would be x squared. x times 1 would be positive x. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. So, x minus 2x are like them, so you can subtract them. So, x squared, we just copy x squared. Then, x minus 2x is negative 1x or negative x, then copy negative 2. Now, this is now the answer if these two binomials will be multiplied. So, this is a monomial times a binomial. So, by distributive property, so positive x times x would be x squared. Positive x times 1 would be x. Simplify the numerator. So, x squared plus x squared would be 2x squared. Negative x and positive x are additive inverse. So, if you add them, their sum is equal to 0. So, we just copy negative 2. Now, 2x squared and negative 2 are uh, factorable. So, by common monomial factoring, the common monomial factor is 2. So, 2x squared divided by 2 is x squared. Then, 2 divided by 2 is 1. 2 and 4 have common factors, which is 2. So, 2 divided by 2 would be 1. And 4 divided by 2 would be 2. So the remaining terms in the expression in the numerator is the factored form of x squared minus 1. So square root of x squared is x. Square root of 1 is positive 1. So copy these terms, change the sign. Then the denominator would be 2 times x minus 3 times x plus 3. So notice the numerator and the denominator have no common factor. So therefore, this is our answer. Good job for completing the whole part of the video. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. And in the comment section, kindly send me your thoughts and questions about this video and how could I possibly help you learn math lessons in an easy way.